Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth! Still only have one of those pieces of that picture. I think we're gonna have to go into the cathedral and beat Isaac himself to finish that thing off. So last time I did a Judas run, our win streak is zero because I died at the end of it. However, I died after beating Satan and going into, like, the Dark World? I don't know what that was, but it was weird as hell. Kind of cool. So I think... I don't know. I think now I'm just trying to beat Satan with everybody. So let's just do Isaac here. So my general approach, the way things were back when I played... Um, what's it called? Wrath of the Lamb? I only ever beat Isaac in the cathedral, like, three times or four times or something. Like, not a lot. Certainly not enough to unlock whatever the next level is that's after that. Which, I know the name of it, but I, I don't know anything else about it. And, uh, and then also we had that weird Dark World last time, and I'm absolutely perplexed by that thing. That was... that was fascinating and very, very unexpected. But um, anyway, my general mentality is... Oh, Infestation 2. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Um, my general thought process is if I'm overpowered enough, I will try to take on Isaac. Like, I have to, I have to really, really be feeling it in order to go into the cathedral and try to take on Isaac. Uh, otherwise, Satan. I know Satan's patterns fairly well. That fight is tough, but the Isaac fight really, like, really scares the pants off me. So that's kind of my approach, and that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, because right now, I still need to beat Satan with a bunch of different characters. So if we get, like, a crazy overpowered, like brimstone, tiny planet, like, crazy, crazy things happening, then yeah, you know, um, we'll go try to take on Isaac. But otherwise, I'm just gonna expect my runs to end at Shoal with Satan. Uh, and even then, expecting it to end there is maybe not so accurate because... Sure, we'll go fight the boss. <laughs> because of what happened last time, where we ended up in a world afterwards, and I, I still don't know what happened. Uh, also, Gurglings, maybe cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Because their their flies are giving me spiders when I kill them. Also, I hate the gurglings. Have I mentioned that? Oh crap! And I bumped myself right into that stupid fly. Oh man, I almost took more damage. So infestation, if uh, if you're unaware, killing something with my tears gives us those little blue attack spiders, and they'll kamikaze into enemies and do some fairly hefty damage. I think their damage output uh, relies on my own damage stat. Let's use that pill. Bad trip, so we just take damage. Not the end of the world. Not great. Not by any stretch, but, uh, you know, such is the way of things in this game. I don't know, is it worth it to destroy the poop? Yes, because we just got two cents, so thank you for answering my question, game. Ah. Yeah, I'll play you twice. Sure, we'll open that. Why not? <laughs> Matchsticks. So, bombs are going to drop more frequently for us. May as well roll with it. I can't say it's better than nothing, because now it's going to change the way our drops go. Like, we're going to be getting bombs more frequently than hearts or keys or money. Or tarot cards or pills or any of those other normal droppable items. But, you know, it's a thing. Bombs could be good. So the attack spiders are pretty awesome. They're pretty powerful. Um, they do silly things, though, like killing themselves and, you know, not letting me generate more spiders. It's okay, it happens. 
Pretty helpful just using those bombs to blow up the rocks and jars and things around the room. Also, let me check over there for a secret room. There was not a secret room there. Alright, this room. These enemies are fairly annoying, especially when they're in swarms, but the room layout is open enough that, I, that it's fine. I don't have to worry about them. Um, they're really nasty on the rooms where there are, like, pits and rocks and things kind of making it a maze, because their AI has gotten smarter in this game, and they will try to corner you. What is this? Best Bud! Sworn Protector! I think Best Bud is an attack fly that only appears after we get hit. I'm not going to voluntarily test that theory, but I think I've had this once or twice. Swing and a miss. Try it again. Here we go. Spider, thank you. Like I said, attack spiders, pretty awesome. Okay, so we got the item room. All that's left is the shop and the curse room. So let's go fight Monstro. Hey, look, everybody, it's Monstro. What a surprise. This is okay, though. Monster is kind of a gimme for a boss. Like, there's... It's very, very rare where you should actually take damage against Monstro, and when I do take damage here, it's almost always just because I misjudged the arc of those shots. Like, the depth perception in this game is not fantastic. Didn't take any damage. Tears up, shot speed up. That's actually a pretty good combo. We have a devil room. We could take the Book of Belial. I will take the Book of Belial. Temporary damage up for the room where we use it. Absolutely love this item. It's the item that Judas starts with. It's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, I was freaked out by that blue spider for a second. I didn't realize it was blue. Okay, this guy has a lot of health. There we go. There we go. Dropped a heart for us. Oh, bummer. Yeah, see, so there's our attack fly, because I took damage. He goes super quick, too. Look at how quick he orbits. That's interesting. Oh, bummer. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Uh, yes, Ace of Spades, actually much better than the matchstick, which we didn't really get to use. What is this? Lost Contact, Shielded Tears. Oh my goodness, we're shooting egg tear things. I... I like the look of it. It's also kind of creepy that we just have... Oh, dang it. Um, that we just have that contact lens sticking out of our eye on the right there. <laughs> These enemies are fantastic for letting me generate lots of spiders, too. Okay, so we have two keys. It's probably worth visiting the shop. Even though I... Oh, I'm gonna take damage! Ah, bummer. Oh, hello. So my tears block their shots. Oh my gosh. I like this item a lot. Okay, other than that their shots are eating my shots, like that we're canceling each other out. So 
So I wonder if I had, like, piercing tears, if it would pierce through their shots and then still maybe be able to hit them. It's an interesting thought. Do I use two bombs to get at that? Yeah, I do. Two clubs will double the number of bombs that we have, so I'm gonna hold off until we maybe get some more bombs. Oh, dang it, dodge right into Cha. Well, there goes our shots at uh, getting any sort of deal with the devil here. You know, I keep forgetting I have the Book of Belial. We should be using that, like, constantly. Got our attack fly out, though. So can we get... Yeah, do a little bit of murder with that thing. Oh, we do get a chance to deal with the devil, even though I took damage. Huh. Oh, Krampus. So, not a deal with the devil, but, uh, Krampus. So, I'm still trying to figure out... What... Uh, like, what what causes us to get Krampus's head versus the lump of coal? And it's something I've kind of been paying a little bit of attention to as I've been uh, editing and re-rendering a whole bunch of my previous videos. It seems to be you get Krampus's head when you manage to defeat Krampus without taking damage, which I'm, I dig. I dig it. So, better than the Book of Belial? Maybe not? Maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna roll with it, though. I like it. Krampus' head is pretty awesome. And I'm kind of trying to get in the habit of just going through this a little quickly. Um, as I've mentioned, I think, in one of my recent videos, um, I do want to see what happens when you beat the, the clock, so to speak. Like, there's that timer on the level select screens. Or the, not the level select, like the indicator of which floor you're on between floors, that thing, you know, with a little vignette playing and all that. Um, I There's a little clock there, and I want to see what happens when you beat it. No! Dang it, shouldn't have done that. Oh, now speed down, so that just sucks. That sucks all around. Okay. Of so many bombs. Which is great, because I'm going to be doubling my number of bombs here soon. Alright, you know what? Use Krampus. There we go. Room dealt with. Um, do need to find the item room before leaving. What floor are we on? Caves 2. Okay. Also, we're building up quite the army of spiders here, which is fantastic. Um, I think because I've got so many spiders, I'm going to fight the boss right now. Oh, my minions, go forth! Is this Elite Gertie? It looks darker than usual. I think this might be the Elite Gertie that just spawns things and never actually shoots. Which, if that's the case, this is awesome. Free spiders. Or my ever... My ever-growing spider army. Oh, bummer. Oh, attack fly. Do your thing, little attack fly, buddy. Okay, HP up. Another devil room. We're getting a bunch of these. No deal with the devil, but a bunch of red chests, which is pretty awesome. Potentially. Potentially awesome. Oh! Balls. Okay. Spirit hearts, that's awesome. Three attack flies, that's awesome. All things considered, I think that room went... Yeah, it, went it went well. Better than it should have, that's for sure. Okay. Hate these things. 
Shielded Tears might make them less of a problem, though. Oh, I'm so slow. I'd love to get more speed. Um, I have a bunch of keys. We'll check the shop. A map? Not the worst item to buy. It's not amazing or anything. In the original game, it used to show you where the secrets were, also, the secret rooms. Um, they've split it into two items now, the map and the blue map. So the regular map is perhaps a bit less interesting, but still fairly worthwhile, I think. Sure, I'll get a free pill. Ah, well, that sucks. <laughs> we just lost our map. Um, no other rooms I care about, so we'll just carry on. Do I want to buy the heart? Yes. Do I want to donate five cents to the machine? Sure. Sorry, I said five. I meant four. We'll donate four cents, because then it's going to jam. And, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever you got to do, donation machine. But look at those spiders. So many spiders. Yeah, so there, there's that little clock. <laughs> Good use of Krampus's head, if I do say so myself. Just don't even have to bother with those uh, zombies at all. I guess with the shielded tears, I maybe don't need to be so concerned about dodging their uh, their little bullets from when they land. Shielded tears. This is going to be something I got to get used to. Oh, dang it! Oh, dang it! Um, I'm just gonna use my two of clubs. Ooh, the Hierophant. Sure, two more soul hearts. Do like. All right, so we gotta find the item room. There's the shop. Don't have a lot of cash for the shop. Which is... It's okay. Oh, not the shop. This is the uh, room that you gotta bomb open. Have we seen this before? Oh. What did I even walk into there? Oh man, that's this is awful. I'm taking way too much damage on this room. So I think we have to use two bombs to get in here. Yeah. I'll go grab that key that spawned in a moment. So... To drop a couple bombs in here. Aha! What's down here? Fish head. Yeah, we'll roll with this for a little bit. I'm doing kind of a bug related run, even though I'm not turning into Guppy. Um, the bed also. I, I've seen. So I've watched a couple videos. Not a lot online, but I've watched a couple of Northern Lion videos and a couple of Biznap videos of this game, and a couple of other folks. Um, I know that if you rest in that bed, you get all your HP back. I don't know if anything happens, like, if you rest in there with full HP. It was purely just a hunch to bomb that thing. I didn't... I wasn't really expecting anything, other than that it looked fairly conspicuous with that rug in the middle there. Um, oh boy. Oh, Doctor. Ah, dang it. Well, that was bound to happen eventually. Um, I do know that if you rest in that bed in that room, though, you can't do it again. Like, once per encounter. Oh, no. Masks. So, I didn't want to waste it. You never know. We could run into a room with masks and hearts, and I could take just an offensive amount of damage and need to go rest to recover everything. Oh my gosh, this room is awful. Well, 
Why is this... Ah! <laughs> go away! Damn it. Oh my goodness. I was, I was joking, like I was being sarcastic when I said that I was going to take a bunch of damage in here. I didn't actually mean I'd be taking a bunch of damage in here. I should have just used Krampus's head, but we've come too far for that now. I didn't even think. I keep forgetting I have Krampus's head. I gotta remember that. Alright, well, I have a bunch of keys. We'll check out the greed room, I suppose. Um, fish head, haven't mentioned it yet, other than that I took it, but uh, whenever I take damage, we will spawn a bunch of those attack flies. So killing things give me, gives me attack spiders, and then taking damage gives me attack flies. Also, I move unbelievably slow. Okay, so we gotta keep... Oh no. Oh no. This is awful. Oh man. Okay, so uh, we gotta find the item room. This is the depths one, right? Or a necropolis one? Yes. Well, there's our item room. What is that? A iron bar? Concussive tears. We should have an iron bar jammed into our skull there. Concussive tears? I have no idea what that's gonna do. Probably stun enemies? Is it gonna be like a... a Oh, it's a random thing. You can see every now and then one of our tears is darker. There we go. There was one. So we had the, like, stink bomb item, I guess, for lack of a better description. The the exploding poop for bombs. Um, and then when that went off, it kind of, like, stunned enemies and made them kind of walk around in a daze for a moment. I think that's... I'm assuming that's what these concussive tears are going to do when they hit something. It looks like we might also have, like, a much greater knockback effect on our tears, too. Though I'm not 100% positive that that's actually a thing. But uh, we were pushing that giant poop around quite a bit. Oh no. Oh, I can't believe I took a hit there. Yeah, I think our knockback is a bit higher with this. Okay, well, found the boss room. Gonna just do that because I don't want to deal with those things. Um, let's do a little bit more and try to get our... Krampus head to charge. Oh my goodness, I walked right into those dumb spikes. Ah. Okay, well, we have full health. That's not saying much. I am really not, like, I feel like due to the bullet hell nature of the Isaac fight in the cathedral, shielded tears are very, very, very good to have against Isaac there. However, I also feel like I'm just having my ass handed to me in this game right now. Also, dang it, I forgot to charge up Krampus. I Totally, so many trains of thought. My brain is just not terribly functional right now. Um, peep, double peep, two elite peeps, so they're tinier. Seem to really like just stomping themselves on the ground. Dang it. Oh, dang it. I'm taking so much damage here. This sucks. And now we have to deal with both of them. Okay, one of them's dead, though, so that's good. I wonder if his eyes disappeared. I don't see him bouncing around anymore. They did. Okay, that's awesome. I was really worried that we were going to have his uh, two eyeballs when we were trying to fight this other peep. At least we got the attack fly doing his business. I'm really, really digging the shielded tears, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like shielded tears, oh man, are gonna be really kind of a must for fighting Isaac. Okay, speed up. Thank goodness. Now I can maybe actually dodge some things. Um, but I don't... I, Overall, this setup doesn't seem to be 
Yeah, see, and then the clocks disappeared, so I wonder if we just had to beat Mom. Like, if that's the time. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be worth trying to get. That is for darn sure. Um, overall, not feeling good enough about this run to try taking on the Cathedral at the end. If we even get that far. That's how this is going right now. Oh, crap. Um, I should maybe stop trying to just, like, blitz through the levels. Definitely now. The clock disappeared from that level select screen. So let's take our time. Okay, shielded tears don't do anything about the spectral ghost tears. I wouldn't really expect them to, but just good to be sure of that now. Oh, no. I hate this room. Boss room, boss challenge room, not, uh, not like the boss of floor. Not like this at all. Okay. Oh, they all turned into spiders. That's actually really cool. Yep, not gonna deal with the boss room. I mean, we can't. I'd have to take even more damage. Kind of trying to avoid that for the time being. Uh, let's check here for the secret room. No idea if that bomb was in the right spot. I think it was roughly in the right spot. Alright, spider boys, spider minions, do your thing, please. I don't have any more of them, I just realized that. Oh. Oh. This sucks. I'm taking so much damage. Okay, we got Krampus's head back. Really need to find the item room. Almost ended horribly for me. And the shop. Ugh, used it too late. Well, we got a free set of keys. Super greed. This sucks, but shielded tears actually are going to be awesome for fighting greed and super greed. Because <laughs> I don't have to worry about his shots, really. I say it, and then I get hit by one of his shots. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> we get the quarter. I don't think I've uh, picked that up yet, so that's good. So quarter is exactly what it sounds like. Just 25 cents. Hooray! Doesn't matter, though, because this was the final shop. There's not gonna be any point in spending our money going forward. Uh, let's check here for the secret room. I get Well, at least we get the cash. This is going to be the end of me, probably. Not the end of us. That's Mom. Is this the secret room? We're still in this. Magneto! He is the coolest of the X-Men. Even though he's not really an X-Man. Kind of. Um, so this just causes items to drift towards us. Good, because it works on all sorts of stuff. Bad, because it works on all sorts of stuff. It'll also draw, like, the live troll bombs towards us. Things like that. I'm gonna give this dude all my keys. No point not unlocking the chest, because we can unlock them for free, thanks to the, uh, golden key. Seriously? Please? Okay, well, we got a bunch of health, so that was worth it. Yeah, uh, goodbye. Tears up. Okay, that's awesome, especially with the shielded tears. I want to find... Just gonna do that. Uh, was Greed the shop? Or was he... So, Super Greed? 
He was the shop. He was not the secret room, he was the shop. Okay, so there's no point in going forward anymore. Um, we have some health. Uh, there is a point in going forward some more. I do really, really want to charge up Krampus's head because it's fantastic to use against Mom. Also, found a thing for spending money. So our millions of dollars in cash are no longer completely worthless. Are any of these tinted rocks? They don't appear to be. Huh. Alright. That beggar's gonna be awesome, because we should very easily be able to get some good stuff from him. The Emperor. More HP. That's fantastic. Um, I would like it if this guy would drop a bunch of hearts. Just like the normal boring red hearts, because then we can play the uh, demon beggar over there. Oh my gosh, we're getting so much stuff. Yeah, 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 those. Drop those, please. Ugh. <laughs> keys. I already murdered the key beggars, so these are kind of useless. Skatoli. Eh, that's a shame. So, question is, do I play this guy? I think the answer is no. I don't feel confident enough fighting Mom. We will go in here, though, and fight Chubb, apparently. How's it going, Chubb? I haven't seen you in a little while. I mean, our damage is not fantastic, like our damage per tier, but we're shooting so many tiers. Which is actually kind of awesome. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we got a fully charged Krampus head. Don't have all the extra hearts that I was hoping would magically show up. Oh man, I took damage like an idiot there. One last trip up to the arcade. I will blow this up. Mm. Well, we have full health at least. I really don't feel confident about this run. Not super duper satisfied with it. I was hoping for a couple of items to, to make this synergy work. Didn't really get any of them. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. That's what I wanted. That right there, that's what you do with Krampus's head. You just murder mom with it. There we go. Um, we do have a deal with the devil, so this might turn things around a little bit for us. Half heart up there doesn't really matter. Damage up. Yes, please. So we have pretty massive shielded tears. Alright, into the womb. So. So. We'll have to see how the womb goes. This is where it all starts to fall apart. The womb is really tricky. Luckily, this is just the womb and not utero. Yeah. Oh my gosh, shielded tears make these enemies so much easier to deal with. I am... I love it. I'm really... Oh. Except when they do that. Judas's tongue. I have no idea what that does. We're gonna check it out. Payment received. Don't know. I have absolutely no idea. We're gonna stick with it, though. Might be a horrible idea. Might be a great idea. Who knows? Don't have any keys, thanks to that jerk key beggar who robbed me blind. By which I mean I gave all my keys to him voluntarily. Sure, I got a bunch of bombs. We'll, uh, we'll get in there. Speed up. Not like a tremendous speed increase, but it could be really useful. 
My speed is not terribly amazing. We'll do that because I don't like this room. There's still another one of those red diglet things. I don't know where you are. There you are. Okay. Ooh. Pinky eye. Occasionally shoot poisonous tears. Might be useful. I want to stick with Judas's tongue. I have no idea what Judas's tongue does. We unlocked it. So it probably does something good. There's our magnet in action there. Alright, I hate these Diglett things. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Doing okay though, doing alright. Do you have a key? Do I want to do the uh, arena there? Probably not, to be honest. I feel like I would just end up taking damage in there. Do I feel like what's in the golden chest could be worth it? Maybe, it has a chance to drop items. Or like, soul hearts. Which would be fantastic. We gotta fight through three waves of fairly tough enemies. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Um, we'll fight the boss here first. Death. So this is regular death, so we're gonna see his full suite of moves. Um, he normally only spawns a couple of sides. I didn't realize they would boomerang back like that. That's different. Uh, we If we kill the sides, though, we get spiders, which is awesome. Um, they count as, as enemies. Um, death also does that slow effect. He, it's like the... Um, oh, dang it. It's like using the hourglass item. That slows us down. Uh, it's... It's irritating, but it's not the end of the world. We got a cube of meat, so that's good. I feel pretty happy about that. I will take that heart. We're gonna go back and we're gonna do the arena room. I'm also going to put a bomb here, and we're going to check for the secret room. Dang it. Also going to put a bomb here, and we're going to check for the secret room. Is that too far over? That might be too far over. I, I, that explosion still should have been sufficient. What was in here? The who? And I put a bomb here and check for the secret room. And here for tinted rocks, please. Just, I really want more health. <laughs> more health is so not good. I... Ooh, Eternal Heart. So if I can get through this without taking damage... Which is not very likely, considering Fistula is a jerk. Um, then we get an, an HP upgrade. Which will be, like... Really, really good to have. Loki! Loki, you're a chump. Um, however, this is not a boss challenge. This is just like a normal arena run. So it's going to be three waves of bosses instead of three waves of normal enemies because they've made that be a thing that happens in the womb, apparently. Oh, dang it. Well, there goes our freaking eternal heart. Son of a gun. I, like, I was really, really tempted to just use the Emperor card for the sake of teleporting out of here and keeping the Eternal Heart. I probably should have done that. Too late now. And we get our key back. Well, lost half a heart. I mean, our stats aren't amazing, but they're not awful either. I just, my health is really the thing that I'm concerned about. Let's do one more room here to recharge Krampus's head. Maybe get some more flies, too. By flies, I mean spiders. Same thing. Did I check here for the secret room? I couldn't remember if I had or not. Well, we have full health, at least. 
Not that it really matters much. Although Mom's Heart shouldn't be too bad with the Shield of Tears, actually, now that I think about it. So the question is, do we go through the womb? Oh, thank goodness it is the womb. Um, and fight Mom's Heart at the end? Or do I use the Emperor now? If I use it now, then we're getting there. But then we have to go through Shoal slash the Cathedral on our own. Hmm. I think we're gonna take a hit on that enemy. Um, I think we're gonna go through the womb here normally, and I'm gonna save my Emperor card for whatever we do next after the womb. If we do manage to beat Mom's Heart, which is a pretty big if the way things are going right now. You know what? I will do this. I will do this all day long. Let's make sure we have enough to get in here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's rock and roll here. Give me like an HP upgrade or a damage upgrade or I don't even know. Give me something really good though. Portable freaking slots. We can just gamble away all of our money. Be really sad because I'm going to keep losing. Seriously. Pill. Paralysis. Half a heart though. That's something. Bomb. It's not like I have anything else to do with my money here. Um, I'm going to open up the Demon Beggar as well. Because if we get a bunch of hearts from playing the portable slots here, which I'm just going to do because I have so much money, there's a chance we can get something good from the Devil Beggar there. The scary thing about the Demon Beggars here in the womb and beyond is that they're going to... Uh, ooh, pretty fly. That's awesome. Um, it's going to take a whole heart every time we bump into him. Speed down. That's garbage. Tears up. Yes, please. Shoot pretty quick. Come on. Come on. Okay, well that's a bunch. Get you to back the hell off. Go away. Okay, well, that's all of our money. That was a lot of money. Get mask. You know what? I have a thought. I have an idea. Gonna play this a couple times and see if. Whoops! Ah, I forgot that I didn't have. Oh well. Um, forgot that I didn't bring the portable slots with me. That was a rookie mistake. It's fine though. Doesn't really matter. Hoping to get a soul heart out of that from the get mask. Didn't really want to work out that way. That's fine, though. Let's just load up on hearts here. Sorry, I'm I'm really trying to get some advantages here. So that's what's going on. Blow that one up. Yeah. Counterfeit penny has appeared in the basement. Apparently from gambling a certain amount. Pretty ridiculous amount, apparently, because I gamble all the time in this game. Uh, here, you can have a bomb. And you can have a bomb. Well, didn't exactly work out the way I had hoped it would. Although we did get the Gimp Mask. So that's... can be, maybe, potentially good. This is a nasty room. This is one of those rooms where I would have used Krampus' head if it had been charged. But some idiot had to go and use it mistakenly in the last room, so... Here we are. Okay, half a heart.
Interesting how the uh, concussive shot impacts that guy. This is scary. I would like to be using Krampus. Hangman will let us fly for room. We'll remember that that's there. I don't think I'm going to need to use it. But if there's something that we would like to obtain through flight, then it's an option. We can come back and get that thing. Thank you, Spider, for dealing with that for me. Oh, Doctor, do not like, do not like at all. It's mostly those, like, flying mask skull things, whatever they are. They remind me of that horrible mask that shows up when you grab keys in Mario 2. I'm really surprised I managed to not die there. Okay, well, we got some more spiders at least. That's good. A okay, completely empty room. We will check for the secret room here. Dang it. Ooh. Oh, and I walked right onto the creep because I'm an idiot. I didn't even see that there. Um, please be something good. Please be the secret room. Ah. Well, there's a little bit of health back here, so we'll go pick this up. Since everything in the womb does a full heart of damage, we can take three hits. Getting another half heart, that really doesn't change that for us. So, here we go, it lives! The nastier, tougher version of Mom's heart. I'm not sure how I didn't take damage there, but I'm satisfied with that. Need to do something about the eyeball. There we go. Ooh. He blow Krampus' head on this thing because I just need to dish out as much damage as we can, slowly losing that fight. Glad that the concussive shot just causes it lives to kind of spaz out a little bit there. I am 100% a-okay with this. Not okay with the brimstone. Are you, are, do we do this forever? Is this for the rest of the fight now? What's what's the story here? Okay, that was actually kind of an easy fight. Now, question. Do we think we take on Shoal or do we try to take on Isaac? I think we could try to take on Isaac. I have the Shielded Tears and we have a pretty decent fire rate. And then Isaac has traditionally been kind of a bullet hell sort of boss. So let's do it. Isaac versus Isaac. I have some concussion tears. Oh my gosh. That's the sort of bullet hell thing I was talking about. Which is just, like, exacerbated in this game. But you know what? Shielded tears, high fire rate. Feeling pretty good about this. Do we uh, throw a bomb into the mix? I think maybe we do. Ooh, that's scary. That's terrifying. Okay, phase two of Isaac. He's gonna start randomly doing the uh, crack the sky thing. We got some of these angel babies showing up there, which is bad news bears. Okay, well, it's okay. We got a couple of spiders. We got our attack fly in the mix here. Terrified for phase three of Isaac, but... Oh, and I walked right into that. All right, I can take one more hit. The second hit will kill me. Really need to focus here. All right, phase three. It's terrifying. Hide in the corner when that happens. Isaac can now move around, which is freaky as hell. 
and really frightening. Mm. Okay, it's okay. We got this. We're doing okay. That's easy enough to dodge. Just hide all the way down in the corner there. Seems to work every time. I'm not gonna... Don't want to jinx it. But the one other time I fought Isaac, that was my strategy then as well. <laughs> okay, so you can do him from the other corner, too. That's, uh, that's good to know. Shielded Tears are the best thing ever for this fight. If you have a high enough fire rate! Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. I think Cuban Meat just saved my life there. I, we gotta hang out on this side now because Isaac is chasing me down and this is scary. Okay, alright, we're good in the corner. Yep, that works. Not even going to try to get close enough to get my attack fly in there. Absolutely not worth it. Really want to keep my distance against Isaac because this is awful. Wish we had more damage, but you know what? It's okay. Can't have everything. I can't really tell if the concussive shot is doing much. Oh boy. It might be helping out in the fight. I'm not sure. Really intense music in here, too. I kind of dig it. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Doctor. We got Isaac's tears in a jar, apparently. So that's it. That's, that is Cathedral Victory number two for us. It's the same ending we got last time as well. So we have Isaac's Tears. No idea what that does, but we do have more of the picture now. So it looks like, yeah, we got the negative first for beating Shoal a certain number of times, and now we're getting the actual picture itself for beating the Cathedral, for beating Isaac. Check it out, yeah, look at that. So Isaac has not yet beaten Shoal, one of the few who hasn't. But uh, Isaac is also one of the two people that has beaten Isaac, I guess. The Cathedral. The other being Azazel on hard mode, because Azazel makes the game easy mode. Yeah, alright, this is awesome. I'm curious to know what comes next after all that. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me. Glad we pulled off a victory there. That was pretty sweet. Uh, I will see you next time. <laughs>